powerful message from a persecuted Egyptian atheist. Sharif Gabor is one of Egypt's most famous critics of religion and perhaps the most famous persecuted ex-Muslim atheist. Gabor's troubles with the government began when he was arrested in 2013 for his Facebook posts critical of the government and religion, leading to a year in prison. He has since gained a large following on YouTube for his critiques of religion, despite being in hiding since his second arrest in 2018. The Egyptian government prohibited him from leaving the country and took away his passport, forcing him to share his story of surviving while on the run in a powerful new video titled, quote, Banned from Leaving, a message from Sharif Gabor. In the video, Sharif uh, shares his insight into his internal experience of sadness and frustration with his situation. Quote, I see my life passing before my eyes one year and then another without being able to do what I want or experience life or see the things I want to see. I'm not happy because I'm living in an environment that stole and is stealing the days of my life and I can't do anything to prevent that. He also stated that this, the second reason behind this video is a message to those who think about giving up on their lives because I don't think there's a better time to say these words because I'm not saying it from a place of comfort. I'm speaking to you from hell itself. Be uh, so my words are honest. I want you to notice the position I'm in. I'm now facing the most difficult problem of my life. However, I will not give up because life, no matter how hard it is, is worth living. By the end of his video, Gabor said that he won't, he wouldn't upload any videos on YouTube until he had left Egypt. Still, he reassured his followers by saying he'll continue to update them through his social media accounts. Yeah, that was the, I read the script of this video. It was really, really powerful. I really liked the message, especially this second part where he has a message to other people. Like even, you know why I like that part? Because even at the time, that he's the, facing so much difficulty, he's he's saying something that is helpful to other people. You know, he's still thinking about how he could do, say and do something that is helpful to other people. I mean, mm -hmm. I have the script of this, th that part. Should I read mm -hmm. the whole thing? I mean, I, I have it too. Do you want me to read it? Um, yeah, the second reason. The second reason. Can you read that? Yeah, so I will... I'll, um... I'll pick up where I left off. Um, he says, because life, no matter how hard it is, is worth living. Even if you think that all the roads are closed and there is no light, you've got to believe that there's light, but you are the one who is not noticing it. You must understand that every bad time eventually happens and that the permanence of any situation is impossible. What you have to do is bear for tomorrow. And while doing that, you have to think and plan for a way to change your reality create hope for yourself and live to achieve it. Even if you think hope is impossible to happen, I wish I could ask you to watch and see just how, despite not knowing how I'll get out of this accursed impasse, but I will get out. I will fight and endure until I could live a life that I deserve. But to be honest, I'm afraid the end might not be what I imagine. Then I'll look like a fool. But it's not about the end. It's about creating hope for yourself and doing the work to achieve it every day. And if that hope disappears one day, maybe because of your poor planning or because you missed or miscalculated something or because the circumstances outside of your will, create another. Don't stop. stop. Stopping and giving up can sometimes seem to be the easiest and the most comfortable thing to do. But this should not be an option for you. You must understand the comfort you think you will feel after giving up is an illusion and no one will lose but you. I can't give up on myself. I can't give in to despair, depression, frustration, or the bad moments that I have to go through from time to time, nor to those who want to hear about my giving up tomorrow. I can't give up because there is a life that I deserve but still haven't lived. I can't die until I experience life to the fullest. Yeah. Yeah. I think anybody that ever feels let down or disappointed or hopeless or anything else that makes you feel like things are not work working out and that they will never work out. I think they should just read that part 
I think that should just be something that because obviously this person is dealing with so much pressure and he's still not giving up and he still has hope. So I think just coming from a person that is dealing with that, I think anybody else could, I think those are a go-to message that anybody could use. And it's just so admirable that he, at this point, he's still thinking about what can I tell other people that could benefit from this, right? While he's, he has to be, you know, he, he should, I mean, I don't know if other people would be thinking about other, other people if they were in this situation. They would be feeling about how, to, how should I save myself? only and nothing else right now but he mm -hmm. was still thinking about other people i mean yeah it's just i don't know yeah i don't know i watched that video when i was like really struggling with something recently and i was like god damn like he is in such a bad situation and he's someone that is so genius like if you've seen sharif gabber's work he's so talented he's so smart like he has so many skills and gifts that he could give to the world but because he's an ex-muslim he has to go through extreme danger and instability and uncertainty so he can't even like contribute like all this that he has to contribute and he is like no i'm not giving up and i was like damn susanna like you can get you can get it together if if he is still pushing through if he's still persevering so yeah i wanted to share this because not only is it a really important update on sharif and his case and his situation but i thought it was a really important message that I think a lot of our community who struggles with their atheism and the environment that they're in, um, I think it's something that a lot of people in our community could relate to. And I hope that you guys go watch the full video. I put it in the chat um, because he gives more details about what exactly his situation is. Um, and also go, go learn about him and go watch his work. Um, he, it all has English captions. Um, I, I'm so impressed by him as a creator, as a thinker. Um, and yeah, so I wanted to highlight him. Mm. There's some, uh, comments that I starred and you start, do you want to read this one that I have on screen first? Yeah. A young atheist is saying, thanks for this message. I am dealing with the same situation. Thanks. Yeah. I hope you go watch the full thing. Cause it's really good. Um, Anonymous Al is asking, is there any action against persecution act in Egypt? I don't understand what you mean by persecution act. Act of persecution. What... I don't know. Yeah. I don't understand this question. Um, okay. uh, Gaijin American saying, for me, it was that I haven't read every story thinking about other people's what ties you to this world. Hmm. Uh, um, and Suha is asking, what did Sharif Gabbard do with the $100,000 that he asked people to donate to him because he wanted to buy another nationality with it? Um, he actually addresses that in the video. He talks about that. So I would go watch the full video. Again, it's titled, titled Banned from Leaving, a message from Sharif Gabbard, because I can't remember exactly what he says, it, so I shouldn't misquote it. It didn't work. He, I rem It didn't work out. It didn't yeah. work out. He tried. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I thought this was um, important to highlight. Yeah. Thank you for bringing these things to us, Suzy. You know, sometimes I'm so focused on, you know, Iran situation and some other Dawa related stuff that some things pass, you know, so these things. I mean, without you, a lot of these things would end. I would not know this. Is, so thank you for no. doing that. Um, okay. <clears throat> no, Suha is uh, claiming that this whole thing was a con. Like this, the guy. I don't know, like Sheriff that, Suha. Hmm. I mean, 
everything is a possibility, but we don't we go based on I mean the most likely scenario. So any anything that we say here might be wrong. So just take everything with a grain of salt, but we just always go with the most likely scenario. Right? Like um and Okay, that he says like we offered him a secure way out, but he refused. He already admits in the video that he made a mistake, that he sh that that he should have. He made mistakes that he's regretting. So, just well, that was totally separate, though. I don't know. That mm -hmm. just really bothers me because mm -hmm. when someone's dealing with this kind of a situation, there's so much that changes at the drop of a, like. We're talking about getting smuggled outside of a country, illegally. You think that this just goes according to plan? That like, no, mm. I don't know. Most people have no idea what that experience is like and how dangerous and tenuous it is. So I, I don't like speculating or casting aspersions mm. because things are a little sus. Yeah, the whole situation. Like, <laughs> sorry, I'm yeah. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.